All right, whoops. All right, let's do it. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, everything looks good. Whoops. So yeah, we're bringing the mummy out for the first time. That'll be fun. He's super low level. But... Ooh, looks cool. It'd be funny. What? Ah, oh, it would have been funny if he just got one shot. All right, let's go. Oh, let's boost initiative right off the bat. Cut, cost twelve mana. You know what? Maybe we don't. No, I think it's worth. Uh, since this comp actually looks a little scary. Let's get our initiative up. How's this working? Okay, cool. We all go first then. Very nice. Let's go no tomorrow. Looking forward to this. Uh, let's go Psychotic Stream. We'll pop one ward. Oh, hopefully this doesn't rearrange him though. Shit, it did. He gets to go next. Just off, just off that one. Okay, and yeah, that's. I'm glad we figured out what's going on. He can. Oh, that's actually a Berserker, but probably the same thing. He probably. Oh! Each enemy that successfully attacks the mummy loses 10, 10 luck. So that's and it can stack. So that's actually something else. All right. Um, let's go ahead and hit all three here. We'll get rid of the ward. Let's get to stack the guys. We debuffed. I love this combo. It's just perhaps OP. I don't know. I haven't played many other team comps after we found this one, so I don't know. Increases damage by 50%. Uh, so you've got the remove all deb. Oh shoot! You don't remove buffs from enemies. Uh, I think we hit all four. That's massive, though. But yeah, let's hit all four because then Dark Knight gets to hit him as well. Nothing imbalanced there. Oh god. He hits three times. I don't know what he did there. Oh, probably gave him uh, things. Removes all buffs and debuffs. Unfortunately, that guy's got ward. Uh, but I think it's worth. Okay, let's go ahead and ult here. Whoops. As worthless Whoa, as you were anyway, in life, you will be worth something uh, in death. We can remove. There's only one debuff, but it still gives them eight vigor. Uh, go ahead, do it. Try to keep him healed up a little bit. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead. First. Smack the wound. Dang, I wish the musketeer had died there. Uh, go ahead and no tomorrow again. I could just hold it there, but I want to end the fight. Ooh, jeez. Wait, it's your turn again? Alright. Shoot, I should have been paying attention though. Uh, yeah, so we could have actually ulted and then did that. Assuming. Let's see. I think we just got like, extreme again. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. Maybe we rearranged them or something. Alright, cool. We killed one. Why didn't, why didn't we get to smack them there? I don't know. Hit them again? Are you gonna actually do your. Okay, they both died. <laughs> Another step towards my eternal kingdom. Alright, there is soul, flesh, heart, dust, and essence of mind. Okay. She healed 53, that's nice. Uh, do, 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 a lot of experience, experience. We got a Curse of Grimoire and Shackles of War again. Uncommon Blood. Looks good. Alright. Thank you for your service. 
he'll heal up normally on his own. We don't need to stick him in there. That is pretty cool though. Maybe we should level him instead of the vampire. Sure, level 16 is already way ahead of everyone else, so it'll take a while uh, for us to catch up. So we'll start leveling that guy. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think we're good to go. I don't think there's anything I want with that. Again, we can't do this one. I don't need more. Ch what is that anyway? Wraith. What are you? Blood Phantasm. Cool. Yeah, we don't need more healing. We don't need... Uh, mana could be decent. But I think we're fine for now. But yeah, we can get Wrath and Mana. Uh, we can't get Library yet. We're waiting on... Oh, we're almost there. So we'll get that next, I think. Although, at this point, it's fairly redundant. But I think we might as well. And how are we doing creation-wise? Still need boss. That's coming along, although not a whole lot now. Oh, we did more damage to ourselves with the wraith, with the lost soul. Uh, other than that, we didn't actually make any more progress, right? Mummy witch, vampire shade, lost soul. Yeah, that's fine though. That's fine. We have two talents here. We could grab sorrow. I think we do. Could also save for part, but no, I think we'll grab Sorrow. It fits our stress. Spells, top. hexes, curses, all are at my command. And that also counts as a debuff, so we can debuff there. This does AOE stress. So yeah, these, this is just a chance to kill if we really need to. Oh, actually, um, we could heal. Oh yeah, we're leveling the mummy. I don't think they heal while in there. Um, so actually, yeah. Let's take the mummy out. We'll bring him along just to get the heal off. Uh, swap Banshee out. Heal these guys up. Everyone else is full. Oh, we could even get mana, but I think I'll just heal my main squad. Uh, yep. All right, and now let's put the mummy in there. There we go. Oh, you you leveled up somewhere along the way. Oh yeah. Thought we already checked. Maybe they leveled up again. I don't know. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And then I think we take the quest, but we'll look at it. Uh, Yeah, anyway, we'll take that when we get to it. Let's go ahead and do the next battle here. Oh, I should have checked. All right, uh, somewhat scary. Similar comp to last time. Oh, at least he's targeting the big guy. Buff, what did you get? Luck and accuracy, that might be worth getting rid of too. I don't think we'll have Time. So we might want to dispel here, but I don't think so. He uses a lot of mana. Uh, okay. Oops. I think we do haste, though. Because it's good to have it boost us for two turns. Okay, we do have to be careful. Uh, and then let's go ahead here. I don't think we'll have enough wrath. It would have been nice to be able to wrath here, but... That's fine. Let's just go ahead and hit everyone. We'll take two wards off. Buff those guys up slightly. Shoot, so she, they do get a turn. But yeah, Banshee gets a turn before everyone else, which is good. Unfortunately, these guys did not get the debuff, so they'll get full, full damage off. Nice, the miss. Uh, go ahead, curse everyone. And here I think I will hit the midline here, because I think I want this guy to die first. Or we could actually swap positions here and hope he ends up more near the front. Maybe we swap once. Feel 75 stress. We might want to swap once. Nah, I think curse is too good. And we will be great. Nice. Alright. Okay, that's fine. 
Again, I'm glad they're hitting him. You might actually. Wow, you're gonna stop hitting him. Yeah, we're gonna abyssal hunger here when we get the chance. Let's go ahead. And at some point, we do want to remove all the buffs. Wow, they really like to see it. Maybe now. Removes all buffs and debuffs. It's unfortunate it does get rid of the curses, but. There's some scary looking, uh, not so much that, but we've got luck and accuracy and luck and accuracy on this guy. So, oh yeah, this is where you click on it. So yeah, it is worth ulting there, in my opinion. And, oh shoot, but because that costs six to shoot. Alright, I guess we just go like this again, that's too bad. I would have really liked to heal there. Um, I don't think it's worth swapping out. Yeah, just hit the back. Okay, cool. We killed the guy we wanted to kill. And these guys are cursed again. Did he just try to escape? What stopped him from escaping? Become part oh, of the breathless tide. tide. Uh, let's go ahead and hit him with everything we got. Nice. I hope this guy doesn't es Oh, shoot. He is escaping. I would have liked to heal up. Fine. Alright, we got rags, ectoplasm, dust, uh, uncommon skull, and humanarian token. Alright. Uh, ooh, we found more bones. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure why bones are so rare. You'd think they'd be pretty damn common. Got a bunch of experience. We leveled. That's good. Uh, let's see. We have no tomorrow. Um, let's see, we got this, this, this. That's the physical attack. This is the. Let's see, we could get this for luck. We could get this for evasion, but I don't really want evasion anyway. We'll probably put another heart on him. Uh, so yeah, so we don't really use either of these, but we could get the luck so he can crit more. I think that's probably what we'll do. It deals the same amount of damage, but still has the crit. It's adding in, deals additional 3 damage for each buff or debuff on the target. Not bad. We don't really physical attack much, though. Just being a stress comp. That would be if we were building him super tanky. So, yeah, I think we will go ahead and now, grab luck here. Because it's a 2% crit chance. Of my Better investment. than nothing. And we can't do that yet. Um, you, ooh, no, I, out of position, uh, there, so yeah, we'll wait, then you're level 14, nice, you're level 12, we can't dread yet, but can ability here, alright, we have, he stores mana, oh, we might want to use that at some point too, but I think this is just too good, we're using this every turn, this is Banshee deal stress damage. We could grab one more Dread, and it ignores Ward. Banshee gains plus one block, plus one Ward while in this stance. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I think we will, and that's Evasion, right? So both are good. We could get Evasion and a chance to give ourselves block and Ward, which could be crucial if we get really low, but I think we'll just then again, she's not the one doing most of our damage anyway, and her thing only does 40% dread. So dread is not amazing. Maybe we do get this just for the utility. It gives us a little bit more evasion and lets us uh, get block and ward if we really need to. So we can just piece out. That gives us wrath. That gives us more mana. Yeah. So yeah, I think we will. It's... uh. Yeah, it's not too bad. The one dread isn't amazing. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and this is our... This is our extra fancy anyway, so that doesn't even matter too much. Since we want someone with this, just in case we ever need it. Um, as I've said each time, this was our first minion, so we didn't know we were going for a stress comp. We were still figuring out the game and stuff. 
I don't think we want a one talent use. I think we just keep chugging along. All right, let's see what we got here. I think we'll take the quest, but we'll see. Quest gets us over here. This gives us experience, elite squad items, diggers. Oh, which reminds me, we can get our diggers upgraded. Uh, quest, this gets us here, which we could still come up here and get item. We're skipping graveyard. I don't need most of that stuff though. So, yeah, we could get come here, get quest and item, or well, artifact, I should say. We're missing out on item and some experience. Come up here, we can even hit two quests, two things. Skip that, we skip item again. Then hit the next quest. Yeah, we're not missing much of value there. So I think that's our, and then we'll figure out this last pass, but that's pretty good. So yeah, we will go ahead and do this quest here. Sometimes, oh God, you're kind of wounded. Let's go ahead and swap you out again. Uh, I wish an event requiring the participation of Eratus himself or the current battle group. Uh, I wish you had some way of knowing, so I don't know what all the events are, but sometimes they require specific units, and I don't know if these will be the right units. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, we could have had a ghoul. Uh, your march leaves your enemies in disarray. Steadily, you can see their, them retreating before your might. In this particular instance, you encounter a large number of dwarves right in the middle of their evacuation process, the perfect opportunity to gain a few more miniature limbs. <laughs> However, these dwarves are not carrying supplies or weapons. They are carrying chests, and you notice the spark of treasure underneath the lids. As the dwarves see your approach, they quickly hoard board the carriages and prepare to flee. Uh, pursue them without caution. Pursue them cautiously. Uh, or You will need to travel through narrow tunnels first and your ghouls can move on walls. Okay, this is tricky. I hope it doesn't like kill us a unit outright. Like I'm, I think we proceed without caution and maybe take some health damage. But I hope we don't like, I hope it really doesn't punish us. I hope it, yeah, I hope it doesn't really punish us. I'm fine with a little bit of punishment. I'm fine for some health damage, but uh, let's, let's go. Yeah, wow, they used to take 50%. The mad pursuit came with many unexpected dangers. The dwarves had crossbows and bombs they tossed at you, your forces as they rode atop their mechanized carriages. Your forces suffered heavy losses, thankfully not literally. Uh, until the pursuit came to a wide open tunnel where the speed of the machines far outpaced your minions and you were left with nothing! I will ascend to uh, the world above. I wonder if we proceeded it's cautiously the same thing would happen, time. but we wouldn't take damage. I don't know. I don't know. That hurts though, man. That hurts a lot. Um... We could bring in a completely different team comp here with some of our high level guys. We could bring like our, oh that's a new zombie, but we could out kit him somewhat similarly. Uh, we could level up skeleton and vampire. Uh, we have a spare level 8 here. We could bring that, because the Banshee is really good at the debuffs even if we're not going stress comp. But yeah, so we could try vampire skeleton, just our highest level guys. Maybe bride. While these guys heal, no one's here right now. Um, that's kind of tricky. We'd have to figure out how to play these guys too since we haven't used them in a while. Something like that. Or we could bring this guy since uh, he's got the mechanical aim. Yeah, that might be better. It's a slight skill difference, but... I think the item makes up for it. I don't think we had an extra item, did we? No, not the not the same one. Yeah, so we could do something like that plus the banshee. I think that's fine. And I guess we'll throw the zombie being high level in there. Or, no, let's throw this skeleton in there since he's got an item too. So yeah, this would be our team comp. Uh, and we could level here as well. We don't really need the digger souls right now. We could level here. 
Let's build another wraith and level that so we can heal in chunks of two. We we'll probably won't need it a whole lot, but it's still nice to have. So let's build a wraith. Lepath is signed. Let's hope right, there was back no here. fine print. Yeah, we kind of got wrecked off that event. All right, that is level one. Let's go ahead and build it. So now we can heal two guys. Uh, firstly, let's go ahead and make these guys into our right team area, and we'll heal. This is our this is our Dark Knight. We like a little better, right? Even though he doesn't have the item, Dark Knight Banshee, and we have the replacement Banshee. So let's go Dark Knight Shade. At Dark Knight Lost Soul, because the mummy can take the place of our Wraith if we still need to heal him. Alright, I think we figured it out, and yeah, those guys are leveling. We'll have to remember how to put it all back together. Alright, let's set up this guy. You are obviously not in front. You are probably still in the middle somewhere. It's the buff. Okay, so you can do from anywhere, but we'll probably put you there. Skeleton, you'll probably be, and I'm just moving everyone out so I can focus. Skeleton, you'll probably be frontline. Yeah, most of your stuff can move from there. So you'll go right there. Vampire, maybe frontline. Yeah, that's what it looks. Oh, we really don't need that. Interesting. Yeah, I think we'll just put them in front for the 100% attack there. You can move back and shuffle with the skeleton too, so yeah, that looks good. And yeah, you are already set up to be attacking from the back. Uh, so that's perfect. So yeah, this will be our secondary team. We've got two guys healing. Dark Knight will come out of that team comp for the other Dark Knight. And yeah, we'll have so we'll have a full team comp with the mummy and our healed guy and our banshee. Yeah, we're good. Now we just have to level these guys up. It's been a little while. We'll wait on that. Do we just keep going dread on everyone? We need abilities here too. Yeah, I think that makes most sense. Even though she's got somewhat low scalings, I think this pumping dread is fine. Uh, that of course is also fine. Oh, and I think we go ahead and put the slipper no, since so she's still got low... Oh, health doesn't actually scale, right? So she's got the same chance of survival as everyone else, basically. So yeah, we could put this on her try to, uh, right now. Because we like her a little better. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and level Dread here. And I think we'll just leave it. We're definitely taking Crescendo. The evasion is not bad, but no, I like this because it uh, gives them minus eight instead of minus six attack. Serve I think that's me worth. well, my and We've got minion. one more. I'll maybe get plus twenty dread. Uh, removes all buffs from the target. I think we'll go with that. I think that's what we did on our other one too, right? Yeah. It's nice to have just in case you need, need to remove buffs from a target. Alright, so you're set, you're set. Uh, this is going to be interesting uh, since I haven't used them in a while. Let's see what we want here. Um, we could build tanky again. Do we want another tank skeleton? Or set up more for physical? Ignores armor and block. Ignores armor and doesn't miss. But this also gives us one armor, which is pretty valuable. Uh, yeah, let's make this guy tanky again. Uh, is this plus one worth for the armor? I'm thinking so. Like, he can spend to get armor here, but I think it's still good to have one. Because that's going to go up pretty fast, I think. So that getting that one more armor is pretty good. Uh, let's do it. Uh, this we probably won't use since we're frontlining him, so let's look at other stuff. This is the stance. Has a 100% chance to redirect any attack that targets the mark minion to himself and gives him a bunch of armor. Uh, 
gains 14, so yeah, gains plus 4 armor than he would before. Strikes back when attacked, dealing stress damage. It's not bad, but I, for now he's in a physical comp. But that is cool that he can uh, counterattack with stress, but I think we'll just make him My a massive tank. For a uh, target gains surprise. armor and resistances until the battle ends. Wow, so that makes it even more and stacks up to three times. Plus two attack and dread until the battle ends, also good. But yeah, I think we'll just make him massive tank. 40% uh, performs additional attack for each buff on the target. 4% chance to immediately kill the target. That's kind of good. Attacks twice dealing. What's the difference there? I guess just more damage. But yeah, I think we'll take even more uh, armor and resistances here. Uh, gives it to him straight as well as makes the buff more effective. I think so All right, and then we just need to figure out stats. I don't I think we just do armor Yeah, let's shuffle both Perfect we could have stuck more in armor too, but I think this is fine and now Vampire. I think Vampire is just going to be an actual damage dealer. 100%, 70. Uh, Say, so yeah, I think we'll just go straight uh, offense attack on her. Oh, wow. you're That's right. You have the ult already. You are level 16. It's kind of funny. We've never used her, and she's the first person past level 15. Because uh, she's spending time. She got a high level brain and then was spending time in the arena. Alright, so this attack is probably what we're going to be using most. Deals same amount of damage each time and can stun on crit or deal a lot more damage. I think we want to deal a lot more damage. Serve me well, uh, my minion. This shuffles. Uh, deals 90% damage. I'm not sure what... Like, why wouldn't we just want to deal 100% damage? What's the... I mean, I guess if you want to combo, move back to another spot or something. This does damage to two enemies. Dang, from frontline she actually can't do a whole lot. I don't really care about the that. 30% of its current vigor. That's pretty damn good. Oh, and then you can move forward twice as well. All attacks. So yeah, we could actually start her in the back line, but we don't really have more people to front line. I mean, we could move everyone up once, and then she could start by jumping back and then up forward, or something like that. But yeah, we could do a bit of shuffling. Uh, all debuff all attacks against the target. Ignore both block and ward. Eh. Not really worth. I do like the idea of using some of this, but no. Yeah, it's too bad we can't really use that because we. Eh. I guess this guy could be frontline, and you'd lose embracing melody, which is pretty nice. But yeah, she's not actually right great in the front line, unfortunately. Let's see. This is who sets cooldowns. This is, receives wrath as well. Receives mana. And one thing I like about this is it's free luck. Luck is not currently very expensive, but it's still good to get every bit you can. So I think I'll do this for the luck since she's got uh, massive crits. Okay, let's grab I luck. I expect. Results. This is target loses fifty percent. Oh, but gains uh, damage. This decreases. Uh, vigor. All right. Is it worth fifty percent of its current vigor? It's good to hit. Eh, I think we'll just take the. That uh, actually, let's give accuracy. Maybe all debuffs against the target. Uh, all attacks against the target ignore both ward and block until the battle ends. 
target loses accuracy as well, or target loses evasion. Let's let's get this because it gives us our own accuracy and now, makes them less able to hit us. Of my investment. So yeah, we could start her out in the back line, but I don't think we want to get too complicated. Like we could start her out in the back line, hit with uh hysteria well it's uh yeah it's hysteria and grand aspects uh to then move forward when we want to. It's not bad. We'd only miss out on armor buffs there. And then let's see, Bloodthirst. Until end of the battle, Vampire recovers Vigor equal to 50% of the physical damage that it inflicts. Uh, oh yeah, and doesn't spend an action. 65. Okay, so we can make it give us more. Or we can get Luck and Evasion. Critical hits. Yeah, maybe we do a crit type build. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. Heals 50% versus 65 but our crits will deal 50% more damage, so hopefully that equals out. And I guess that's just... No, I was going to say it's a passive, but you have to activate it. But it's until end of battle, I guess, and it gives us luck and evasion. Get so let's do that. Hey, kitty. Meow. Um, and we have one more stat point to spend. 45 to 2 units. Or what is oh that's initiative nice uh, let's see fifty percent I don't really want to buff them I think we'll just reduce the vigor cost here um, that can be used from anywhere and then we can charge forward um, we could also make that deal more damage if we want to shuffle around more. Uh, it's not bad. It gives us that plus one damage which uh, works with everything. Or we could make this more effective and less costly. Let's do that and then when we level up more we can do the other one. Cool, so she's pretty much maxed out. Let's take some cheap luck Let's do luck like three times there and then a bunch of how much can we upgrade luck anyway? 10? And luck one more. Could do evasion as well, but I don't think we really need it. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So here's our team comp. And we'll take that out. Very cool. It's been a while since we've mixed it up. Oh, and we'll also be able to heal our units after this battle anyway. Cool. All right, those of you on YouTube, we're going to take a break here and be right back with the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.